Welcome back, this is Arcade Night, and today we continue our assault on the town of Uxhall in this epic mini-series finale. So sit back on your comfy chairs, grab a golden canteen of your favorite tasty beverage, as we get ready to play The Parabellum. Today we go all in. Lieutenant Colonel Roger Reynolds' tour of duty is over. He's heading home. His war is over. But before he leaves, he must take Ooks Hall, and whatever that means. And uh, we built a new army since the last episode, and we're going to talk about that. But first, we need to check out the situation in Ooks Hall. We've got 150 men. Doesn't look too bad. Not a lot of artillery. And not a lot of uh, mechanized warfare. It's mainly troops. But I see there's... Yeah, there's an army lurking about. Protecting it with a lot of tanks. Okay. Any, anybody else? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it. I knew it. I wonder, sir, if I could... Oh. I sure can. I don't want to fight both of these armies together. But if I could lead you away from Luke's Hall. Oh, yes. Let's do it. Let's do it, sir. All right, 41 men. I think we can do it. Now, I picked up 50 Nord um, infantry. And I upgraded them to machine gunners and put them in second company. All the rest of my men are in uh, first company. Let's put those tanks going in a clear path. Don't want to put them in the trees. Second company, though, I'm going to put you over uh, this direction. Yeah, in the trees. That's uh, probably better. First company, I'm going to put you over here. A more protected spot. I'll put everybody else in first company. I didn't want to, um... Second company. Those Nords are definitely, um, the fodder troops. Ah, oh, I didn't want them in the front lines. Just like that, though. Oh, look at that. Look at this, um, armored car. Yeah, I can't do any damage to it. Let's throw a... A grenade at it. Can I get it? Oh, no! Alright, let's see if we can throw some artillery shells at it. Some mortars. Just put your cursor right there. Come on, artillery shells are coming! Alright, how are we looking? There's 12 of the enemy left. I think we can probably retreat soon. Yeah, this wasn't the best spot to put my uh, my machine gunners in. But I think we've taken out most of the enemy. Yeah, there's, there's only 11 of them left. 12 of them for the battle. We'll just leave that. Now they have 25. What? Okay. They're leaving. That was the main... That's the main thing I wanted to do. Just get them out of the way so we can concentrate on Nukes Hall. And uh, sure, if President Carver wants to get me in another village, I am more than happy to accept. Um, all right, Lieutenant Iyer, what, what you're telling me? Boss, just to let you know, I've got no problem if we run from the battle. Let me divide another day makes good sense to me. Exactly, sir. It's good strategy um, when you're looking at the overall goal. All right, so it doesn't seem like he's leaving Nukes Hall. And look, guys, we've got... Most of our men there, we got all 95, so we didn't lose many. That's exactly what we wanted. So let me show you exactly what I did. I've got around 50 Nord machine gunners. Like I said, I put them all in second company. The rest of my men are in first company. And then we've got plenty of tanks, plenty of support, plenty of bombers. Now this is going to be the real problem. Taking out this guy right here. So, I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage from my golden canteen. A little lubrication before the battle. How many tanks are we dealing with? Six, seven, with an armored car, it makes it eight, nine, ten. Ooh. I think he's definitely got more, more tanks than we do. And he's not going anywhere. Hmm. Yes, yes. There's nothing we can say. Nothing I can do to convince you to leave. Of course not. You're protecting your homeland. What, what do I expect? All right. I hope this doesn't ruin us. All right. 
right, guys. Let's hope we get a good battle for it. Ooh, not really. At least it's it's good for their tanks. Not good. Ooh, that hurt. Not good for our for our infantry. We try to put the second company over that way. Spread my men out. First company over to this way. to get too bogged down. Where where else could they go? Really this way. The second company definitely go down uh, towards those trees. Oh my goodness. There's some heavy fire here. Heavy fire. Alright, of course we've got um, our air support charging in as always. Alright, let's follow the tanks here. Alright. 24 dead, 15 of us. That is not great odds right now. Oh my goodness. Alright, probably the best thing to do is to try to stay behind these tanks as much as possible. Oh, my goodness. Ah, of course! <laughs> oh, Lieutenant Colonel. That is not gonna work out. Alright, so am I am I playing with the good doctor here? This, this could be the doctor. Since he's in full armor. Which I may want to um perhaps get another Another group of it. Another batch of armor for the Lieutenant Colonel going to this final battle. Eight enemies left! Let's definitely retreat. My goodness. It says our casualties are 15. Wow, those machine gunners are doing great work. Ten left. No, we're going to leave. We're going to leave. And he's going to leave, right? He's not going to leave? And it's all tanks. 8977. Hmm. Here's the question. Do you auto resolve the battle and you could possibly lose so many men or you just let them be part of the garrison of Ooks Hall and just just do it? You let them be part of the garrison of Ooks Hall, right? And you just attack. Okay, so the garrison's 161 now. Guys, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. We are going to attack Oaks Hall. Now, uh, let's see. I think, hopefully, in time, by the time we do it, men are going to be rested up. How many tanks do we have, though? We have all eight tanks. Guys, we're in good shape. We are in excellent shape. We're going to attack Oaks Hall. We're going to besiege the town. We're digging the trenches. Digging the trenches. Preparing for the assault. All right, guys. In the previous episode, I asked the trivia question, which four empires collapsed at the end of World War II? And we had so many great responses, so many answers, it was really difficult to figure out which two uh, viewers to specifically point out. But he here's the answer in case you guys are curious. It was the Ottoman Empire, the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, the Russian Empire, and the German Empire, of course. Um, so, the first person, the first viewer, first subscriber I'd like to point out is Josh uh, Caswell. And you were the very first person uh, to comment in the comment section with the correct answer. And then th the next person I want to point out and highlight is Xander Fettel. Uh, you not only had the correct answer, but you gave so much extra detail and information i just love reading that i learned a little bit too and apparently he's a history buff like i am so i really appreciate it good sir thank you um for those answers now here's what i want you guys to do what is your favorite time period of history is it medieval is it roman history is it world war ii or is it something more specific whatever it may be just let me know in the comment section guys i am so curious to hear what you guys enjoy reading and researching about when it comes to history um anyway i really appreciate it and we're back on with the battle when we're ready oh no oh no all right just 26 men i was worried it looks like we caught oops hall in perfect time in perfect time are you men ready is everyone ready load your weapons Let's lead them in the assault. Okay, we, we, I think we're going to try something a little bit different this time. And I'm going to try to stay on my bike for the beginning of it. I don't have a lot of health. No, I don't. Alright, second company. I've got, I've got a mission for you men. 
Like I said, we're gonna spray these men up. Let's see the tanks. Alright. Let's do it right here, right through that center. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Get in positions. Get in positions, man. We really have to save these machine gunners. Really, we should check out. Yeah, they got a heavy front line. Let's see if I can get up to this spot. Definitely have our bombers in there. I don't want to send the second company up too quick. Although, this is a good spot for them right here. Gotta keep the Lieutenant Colonel alive. Man, we could have waited, but this is the perfect opportunity, right? It's the perfect opportunity. We're gonna wait for our tanks to get up closer. That was one of the um, negatives of the last time we, uh, we attacked. I hope that's not their bombers. About to just unload on second company. All right, we're gonna have to move second company up. You got keep moving, keep moving, man. Let's keep moving, keep moving, keep a moving, man. Yeah, there we go. That was the problem with the last assault on Nukes Hall. We did not bring the tanks up fast enough. Yeah, you see, we've almost completely bombed out the first layer of defense. We could probably bring up second company to this spot. I would bring up first company here. Yeah, I should I should have just stayed on my bike. This was much easier to control the battlefield from my bike here. Alright, what do we got? Still some men. So you can put some artillery shells on that trench position. Alright, let's try to bring the tanks over the trenches. Let's not keep them there. Alright, we're looking. We've killed a third of their um oh my goodness, we killed 95 of them. We killed two-thirds of their army already. Alright. I just want to make sure we're clear to bring up second company. Yeah, second company, let's go. Bring you up to this trench position. Alright, first company, it's time to come up. First company to this trench position. Alright, let's go, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, men! We're on the cusp of taking this town! Oh, oh, okay. Some heavy fire there. Alright, I think it's I think it's time to dismount the bike. Alright, tanks. We need to keep going down to that spot. Sit first company to this building. Let's go, first company, let's go, let's go! Alright, I've got a I've got a mission for second company. I've got a serious mission for second company. I spotted a great position for them to hide with their machine guns. Oh yeah, it's actually perfect. All right, we're gonna send the tanks in charging in. The first company is about to get in position. Nice. All right, second company. I want you to head to this this forest on the uh, the edge of the town. Head to that forest, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, man. Yes, indeed. Alright, I'm not quite sure where the enemy is, but we've got the tanks going in. Oh no! Lieutenant Colonel! I just knew it! I just knew it! Okay, first company. We know what second company's doing. First company on me! We're gonna take the, the left flank of the town. I see second company way in the distance. We gotta do this for Roger Reynolds. We gotta do this for Roger Reynolds. Alright, let's see what our spies tell us. Let's head on the outskirts of the town. Alright, we're looking for his company. Uh, looks like a death trap. All right, let's hit on the, uh, the outskirts, men. Outskirts. Let's be smart. All right. Look at that. Look at the short Nord machine gunners just unloading. 
All right, let's see if we can get them second company there. And let's see if we can help them out. They're just searching now. They're searching for the enemy. Where have they gone? Somewhere over here. They're in this building? Is it the Zeppelin? <laughs> oh my goodness. It looks like Second Company is, is having all the glory in this one. Oh, there we go. Alright. What do you see, man? What do you see? Oh, those Nord machine gunners are fantastic indeed. Okay, I think we just got him. There's one man left. Where is he, man? All out charge! Find that last man! He's somewhere over here. Is he hiding in this building? Where is he? Where is he? Lead the way, soldier. Lead the way. Here. No? Yes? Yes? No! Oh, I gotta load up! Gotta load up! Oh, I can't believe it! You bastard! What is going on up here? <laughs> I can't tell who's who. Oh my goodness. It is so loud up here and I think I, I, think I shot some of my own man. Stupid corporal. Stupid corporal. Alright guys, let's get out of this battle. And uh, that was hectic. We lost 23, but those Nord machine gunners are amazing. I highly recommend them if you haven't already tried them. Enemy casualties were complete, but I'm fairly certain there's one last piece of the battle. Yes, there's defenders resist in the streets. Who are we going to be able to play? Oh, yes. Where are these defenders? I don't want to get sniped. I don't see any. Battle one, is that it? What? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, okay, now we got the town center. It's pretty lonely in here, guys. It's pretty lonely in here. Let me shoot something. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, there it is. Wow. Something else indeed. Let's grab some of this stuff. We need a little bit of money. Some uh, walking around money for when we return home. And absolutely. We'll request Ukes Hall. Why not? We fought so hard for it. Now let's take a walk around the streets and enjoy our newly conquered town. Oh, yes. Very good indeed. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is wonderful. I've really enjoyed playing this mod. I had a great time, and I just want to make sure we can see all the area we conquered. Wow. We did something else. One army has done some serious damage to the northern front but i think it's time to head back home um to the good old us and um it's time to rest it's time to retire and to find a new line of work for lieutenant colonel roger reynolds thank you so much for joining me i had a great time playing this mod the parabellum uh, if you haven't checked it out yet make sure you download it i left a link down in the description box below and you know it's a nice distraction from the traditional uh, sword and shield uh battles that we're used to with other mountain blade warband mods uh, also guys don't forget to leave your favorite period of history down in the description box below um, I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say because I'm going to use that information to potentially lead me in a direction for a future series on this channel. Guys, awesome. 
If you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be updated on all the content on this channel. Also, leave me a like button, guys. I really appreciate it. It lightens up my day. And also, it's by far the best and easiest way to help this channel grow. Again, thank you for joining me on this series. And I'll see you next time.